Is it worth the huge amount? Because you see, Skin Skeuticals CE Ferulic Serum retails at around 165 US dollars for 30 milliliters. Now that's a huge amount. Is it really worth the price? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. This is a very minimalistic product. It's got very few ingredients. It's got no fragrance and no alcohol. Alcohol and fragrance are sensitizing ingredients and a lot of vitamin C products have unnecessary ingredients like orange peel, oil, etc. just for the citrusy smell. This particular product does not have any such sensitizing ingredients. So that's a huge tick. This vitamin C product is an evidence-based skincare product, meaning SkinCeuticals has done a lot of research to come up with the formula, what the percentages of each ingredient should be and how they should all be co combined together to come up with the skincare product. They've done a lot of trials to show this is evidence-based and it really works on the skin. Now, this is not something, the evidence-based part is not something we can say for many skincare products in the market. So that's a huge tick for this product. SkinCeuticals does not want others to copy this formula and so it's actually patented the formula. This serum uses the pure form of vitamin C, L-ascorbic acid. Now this is the form of vitamin C that the skin recognizes. A lot of vitamin C serums use derivatives of ascorbic acid. Now the derivatives are not as effective as the pure form of vitamin C. The derivatives when they are applied on the skin they have to be converted by the skin's enzymes into ascorbic acid and only then the skin will recognize. Apart from that the derivatives will not offer all the benefits that the pure form of vitamin C would offer. So why can't the other serums just use ascorbic acid? Now you see the pure form of vitamin C it's highly difficult to formulate that in a skincare product. It's very unstable and it can make the product go rancid very quickly. And that's what SkinCeuticals has done. It's come up with a formula where it doesn't go rancid quickly and that's why it wants to protect its formula. Now let me talk about the benefits of L-ascorbic acid. Two main benefits. First is it brightens the skin. Second is it's an anti-aging ingredient. Now a derivatives of vitamin C which is what is used in a lot of vitamin C serums are not as effective as a pure form of vitamin C, L-ascorbic acid. So that's a huge plus in this product. It uses L-ascorbic acid in a formula which keeps L-ascorbic acid very stable because it's not easy to keep this L-ascorbic acid stable. A good vitamin C serum requires between 10 to 20 percent L-ascorbic acid for it to be effective. SkinCeutical says this one uses 15 percent so that's a good thing. Now ascorbic acid, the product which has got this ascorbic acid, it's got to have a pH of 3.5 or lower. pH measures the acidity or the alkalinity of a product. The reason why it has to be 3.5 or lower is because that's the only way the serum, the vitamin C ascorbic acid can penetrate and get to the deeper layers of the skin. So unless it gets to the deeper layers of the skin, it's not an effective brightening ingredient, it's not an effective anti-aging ingredient. Now SkinCeutical says the pH of this product is between 2.5 and 3, so that's again a huge tick. Now very quickly going to the other ingredients in the product, the first one is a ferulic acid, brighten up the skin and reduce the uh, damage of the good cells. It also has tocopherol which is nothing but vitamin E, so it's actually the combination of the ferulic acid and the vitamin E a secret combination how it's been formulated together that's what actually is keeping this vitamin C ascorbic acid stable. The other ingredients in the product are the humectants it's got glycerin and hyaluronic acid both of them are super effective humectants. Humectants are basically water magnets they'll sit on the skin surface attract themselves attach themselves to all the water molecules and bring all the hydration from the environment from the atmosphere to the skin surface and thus they help to keep the skin hydrated. Now Humectants also play another important role in a vitamin C serum because they basically help in the penetration of the vitamin C ascorbic acid into the deeper layers of the skin. So that's an added benefit the humectants can bring in a vitamin C serum. Now to the packaging of the product. Now packaging plays a very important role in vitamin C serum because any exposure to light or air will quicken that oxidization process. So though it uses a secret formula and a patented technology to uh, make this product, it will, the ascorbic acid will still get 
rancid if it's exposed to too much of light and air. Now, the best kind of packaging is a pump action product and also a product which is opaque bottle. Now, it's got the opaque bottle, but it doesn't have a pump action. It's got the dropper mechanism. So you open it, get it out, drop, drop, drop vitamin C, and that's exposure to air and light. So I'm actually a bit um, disappointed with that, especially considering the huge price tag. I would have expected them to use better packaging. So that's a huge no-no. Now to the final summary about the product. I can't give a summary review of the product without actually considering the price of the product because it's a highly expensive product. Now, when it comes to the effectiveness of ascorbic acid, it's all good. Ascorbic acid is super effective. It's, it's an evidence-based ingredient and skin suticals themselves have done a lot of research to show that it actually works on skin. So all that's good. Now they keep saying in all their marketing material, it's a patented technology. Now when the word patented is used, it's a huge draw card for a lot of consumers. We just go, wow, what's that mystery thing in here? And we get attracted towards it. And that's probably one of the reasons why they've done it. But anyway, uh, it's a huge draw card. But what I do want to mention is it's not easy to get a patent. There are a lot of other products also in the market which use ascorbic acid and which have used the combination of ferulic acid and vitamin E to help stabilize the ascorbic acid. They haven't bothered to go and get a patent only because it's such a um, it's such a lengthy process and they probably don't have resources and skin suticals is owned by l'oreal so it's got all the resources it needs so they the other products in the market which also have used similar ingredients haven't gone and got the patent but that doesn't mean um, they are much less effective there are a few vitamin c serums by other companies which have used a similar combination so and they come at a much 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 lower price than skin suticals so for me the effectiveness is all good, the packaging is negative, but there are other products in the market with similar combinations, similarly using L-ascorbic acid. So I am not hugely sold on this product because I think I'll end up paying a lot of money for the advertising, for the marketing and the cost that were involved in that patent technology, obtaining that patent. So. Uh, um, I am not hugely sold on the product. It's a very good product. It works. It definitely works and it's backed up with a huge amount of research. So you've got the money to spend and if you don't think um, it's too much on the high side, please go ahead and do buy the product because you will see the immediate results. Otherwise, if you want to shop around, want to look for another L-ascorbic acid, better packaging, there are a few other products in the market as well. Because of the price, that's the only thing. And, and the patent actually expires in 2025. So I wonder what's going to happen after that. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, that's about it. If you liked this video, please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me a lot. Please, please, please.